This ski resort is in Colorado, believe it or not, and I'm pretty sure they don't even have grooming here. I'm really excited. This is Lake City Ski Resort. It has one Puma lift, and then I think you could just ride really anywhere you want after that. They do have somewhat of a terrain park. It doesn't look like it's been maintained very well. I bet the local kids are the ones that kind of shovel snow and stuff, and it's like the end of their season. It's springtime. We're gonna go figure this out. It looks, this place is rad. These, these hole in the wall resorts are why I love the goal of riding every resort in the United States. So enough talking, let's shred. Good morning. Thank you. Now I was not expecting park sign. Oh dude, the park starts up here. You got a kicker? Oh, dude. I was scared. I was so scared. Barrel? That's barrel. <laughs> Rail. Oh, we're gonna have a day today. <laughs> Once it gets a little softer, it's gonna be mwah. One thing about Lake City Ski Hill is this thing's got a freaking view. I think it actually pops you way harder. I was approaching its switch and I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm pretty sure I hit a screw on that picnic table though, so we won't hit that again. I heard it go. <laughs> Homemade features. I wanna double check my base real quick since I, I, it squeaked when I hit that box. It was bad. I think I'm okay. I've uh, destroyed a snowboard on a box having a loose screw a couple times actually. And you never want that to happen. Yeah, so Lake City Ski Hill, uh, actually a little bit more than I expected. I love to not research these things and just show up and be like, there it is. I assumed with one lift that it was gonna be this. Did not think they'd have a park, even though let's be real, that park is a little, a little sketchy. But I bet this hill is literally just ran by some of the local dudes in the town, everything like that. It's rad. I've always dreamt of like owning a little ski hill like this and then putting a world-class terrain park on it. I think it'd be the coolest, raddest, like local kid could be an Olympic rider because he grew up next to something as small as this but like had a rad park that's a dream of mine that being said if you're wondering like why did you come to lake city ski hill when you live next to the world-class best resorts in the first place it's because i have this crazy goal to ride every single ski resort in the united states and you guys can track my progress by going to resortskimaps.com now this is a resort map of every resort in the united states all the green snowboards are the resorts that we've been to you can click on them watch the videos there but if you click on a red snowboard nothing will pop up because we haven't been there yet but if you want to know when we're coming or where we're going each season click the top right hand corner and you'll see our resort schedule for the upcoming season. Now this season was a little weird. We didn't put too much of where we're headed on there because we were going to Germany and other things like that. But yeah, check out resortskimaps.com. The raddest tool. You can spend hours on it. It's, it's so sick. But the park has been sick. We're going to move to the more difficult. They have a blue on this left side. Let's go see what that's about. Wow, Cody. You know what I see down there? A most difficult, not a more difficult. We should go check out the most difficult. It's going to be crunchy in there. It right? looks like the most difficult might be like one turn through the trees. Because then it looks like it goes to a gully in the dirt. Yeah. Let's find out. We don't want to go that way. We walking. Adventure awaits us, you know? That's what I always like to say. And I think we're back on the resort. There we go. We went out of bounds without Abby gear. Don't beat us up in the comments. Now I was wrong. They definitely groom at this ski resort and their groomer is so rad. Look at this thing. I'm telling you, Cody, we could buy one of these for the backyard park. It's not gonna evolution sticker so we can get one of these guys. Look at this thing. Imagine like a fat evolution sticker on it too. It'd be so sick. We actually got to go back this way too. There's another thing I want to show you over there that I saw. Ooh. 
All right, guys, it's that time of the video. You know what we need to do. Today's sticker shout out. We got Erica with the pink sticker on the helmet. Looking insane, guys, if you want an evolution sticker. We have so many colors and styles and versions for anybody's style out there. Even if your style's being a skier, we do have a ski version for all of you Lake City ski kids. Anyone that's out here that this is your local, you got to get a sticker. Start repping out here. We need more evolution stickers in this area. I'm going to do my part. I'm going to start slapping some around here. But yeah, snag an evolution sticker. Tag me on Instagram, and I'll give you guys gear and sticker shout outs in the vlogs like I just did. And it supports the dream. It's how we can travel and get lift tickets and all kinds of stuff at these resorts for riding every single resort in the United States. So thank you for the support on this gnarly, gnarly day. All right, one more time down the most difficult. All right, look at these moguls. At least I think they're moguls. Homemade moguls brought to you by Mulch. We're making movies, dude. We're making movies out here. Oh, for the five. <laughs> I love little ski hills like this, specifically in Colorado where, you know, Vail Resorts, Icon have kind of taken over and commercialized everything. Everything's so expensive. Then you come here and it's 30 bucks for the day. All their rental gear, like donated old people's snowboard gear. It's so rad. They're actually trying to implement night riding. Like, look at this little light thing. It's like, it's homemade. It's, you know, it's just rad. It's not your typical Vail Resorts ski resort, but you could get actually really rad at snowboarding here. We almost had a five on that jump. Like if you're just a kid, like to get the itch, to get the love, to get your board control underneath. If you came out every day after school or just rode, like you figure it out, you get good. And then you could move to a bigger ski resort and then really push it. I'm having a blast. Switch barrels, dog. Thank you. Heck yeah. It's Tyler and Parker, they watched the videos. Hey. <laughs> so with a park like this one specifically, this is not a park crew maintaining it, I'm always very skeptical and cautious on the features, mainly because of what happened to me at Pajarito in New Mexico. No! <laughs> <laughs> I ostriched so hard. That was brutal. I ostriched to my nipples. <laughs> I don't know why I keep thinking there's going to be a nice landing without a bomb hole. <laughs> Truck driver. You know, the little kicker is kicking my butt. I mean, it's in prime hidden condition. I don't know what's wrong with it. I need to just huff the three. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 
heavy, man. This thing's got pop. Somebody lives up here. They like drive a side by side on track home every day. That's wild. I wanna live on top of a ski resort, ski hill. Some people actually imagine when I call it places like these ski resorts. <laughs> I was gonna try to like walk on them, but I didn't have it. I'm kind of cool with that one being trip mode. I think we did it. All right, guys, Lake City Ski Hill. Place is rad. I love these little hole in the wall resorts because this is how skiing and snowboarding started. So to go from mega super rad ski resorts to where the type of resorts that started it all, it's so cool. So rad to see. But with that, thank you so much for shredding with me today. Subscribe, like the video. Thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you tomorrow in another video. Stay on the channel. We do stuff like this. Damn. Damn.